Good morning everyone, happy Monday and happy Labor Day. We are currently en route to the airport. We are headed to Cancun. <laughs> I keep saying Cabo, I don't know why. It'll be Jack's first international flight. Surprise, we are not on the farm, we are off and I'll vlog a little bits of it for you on our little family vacay. just made it to our gate and it is quiet as can be because it's Labor Day. Say hi! <laughs> Dubai! We are just waiting to board. We already have screen time going just because it's necessary. <laughs> we don't have any rules on screen time when we go on trips. It's just get through. That's it. Just checked in we are staying at the Hilton all-inclusive um, it's amazing let me do a room tour right now this is the living room when you walk in there's a kitchen they just stocked the fridge for us everything's included so it's full of delicious things pull down bed there and there that's the kiddie pool literally there's slides right outside how sweet love that cupboard huge huge like hi I'm all the way over here huge bathroom full standalone bath toilet shower shampoo conditioner all provided and then this is our master bedroom jack will be sleeping in a cot in the living room um i have already unpacked my stuff i've just organized it by outfits because i like to be ready to go i want to be fully unpacked and on vacation in vacation mode as soon as i'm here so i'm about to go and find some food and bring it to Brad and Jack, who are already at the kiddie pool, I can literally see them from my bedroom window, so that's awesome. And there's a hammock out there as well, so I'm gonna get some food and relax in Mexico. These are our deck chairs on our veranda. This is the view out of our veranda. Like literally, this is Jack's heaven. What do you see? You wanna go down there? Yeah. Is there a boat? Okay, Dad is gonna go get your water bottle. Wow. How's that feel, buddy? <laughs> Okay, I am headed to look at the beach before finding the gym. I'm the only tourist that's up and about. Last night after dinner, we got home, we got Jack set up for bed, then we have a cot in the living room. We put him down and he normally sleeps good no matter what location, as long as he has a cot that we can pop him in. But um, as soon as we put him to bed, vomit everywhere. In his cot and I picked him up because he normally does two bouts of vomit, held him over the tiles, vomit again, splatter, splatter, splatter. So we were cleaning bath last night. But now I'm up, it's a new day. This is the view. I mean, good morning. This is the 
this is utterly gorgeous. So my dad had a rule growing up, whenever we were on holidays or vacation, as they say in America, we had to swim in the ocean every day because that was something that we couldn't do at home. So he would make sure that we did it on vacation. Just walked into the spa entryway and now, oh, hang on, I gotta use my, my wristband, open things. This is the gym. Easy. I have one more set and then there's a class in here so I gotta get out. Just finished my workout. I'm on the way to meet um, Brad and Jack at the buffet breakfast which is literally like right there in that little building. So that was easy. Definitely didn't stretch as much as I should have but I've got jelly legs. Feels really good. Pool is not turned on yet but we just finished our brekkie and we're gonna go to the beach. So apparently the number one complaint oh, no. yes, that oh, Brad no. saw online was that people Mommy. didn't like the seaweed on the beach, right? One of them, yeah. So they have a tractor out here picking up seaweed. <laughs> what you doing there, buddy? Are you just decorating Mama with some sand? <laughs> just ducked back to the room to grab Jack's rashi and <laughs> what? Hi. We got a beautiful sunny day in the wet season, so we'll be out here. So all inclusive is great for people that like to drink and eat a lot. Brad and I are not those people. We just went to get a soda water for us and it doesn't open till 10 because everyone's been partying and they all want to sleep in. But the kids' pool is the place to be. All the kids are out playing because everyone with kids has been awake for hours. Wow. Hi. Hi. Okay. okay. Currently sunbaking on our balcony overlooking the pool. Jack is taking a break. Brad is chilling. This is just the live. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting to vlog the buffet. So we'll do Brad's plate. We got little, is that ceviches? Is a salmon salad. It's got apple and blue cheese with spinach salad, little cheesecake, salami and cheese, some seafood. I had a seafood casserole, beef casserole, some lasagna, and a fruit plate. I just didn't document it. We just got to the mall. Yay! Mom is so excited for like H&M. Oh, you wanna go up? Okay. We're in Lulu getting Brad some pants and what did Jack find? A little, little, I don't know what it is. Crocodile, alligator, caiman, something. Sun bacon over there. What do you see? <gasps> like what? We just got back from walking through the main shopping strip mall area and um, I have a first world problem. I'm now back at the hotel, I went to grab Jack a snack from the buffet and they're transitioning between lunch and dinner. So there's not, there's like an hour in between each meal that they don't actually have food available. Um, and when I'm paying for an all-inclusive resort, I, I want it all the time, like whenever I want. I have a toddler, like, you know. Um, but yeah, other than that, and room service, you can't just order when it's open. <laughs> You have to order in advance, like your breakfast the day before, your lunch, your dinner the day before. So you can't be like, oh, I'm hungry at lunchtime and order something. Okay, so this is the Asian restaurant. Oh, oh, right before I walked in here carrying my baby in high heels, I changed to poop. Mom life. <laughs> We did it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's someone else's room. We did another dinner with a toddler. We brought distractions, we did screen time, none of it worked. So here I am, walking this crazy butt back to the room. Because he was uncontainable. He was everywhere. It was quite impressive. Say hi. Hi. We are doing an after dinner walk. It is gorgeous. It's um 
definitely windy and definitely raining a little bit, but we don't care. We're walking off our food a little bit, tiring out the baby. He's about to go down to bed, and then we go to bed right when he goes to bed because we are boring. I think there's a up on that rooftop there. There's some kind of nightclub situation, but <laughs> absolutely not. Good morning, guys. It is 4:45 in the morning, which is 5:45 our time back home. It is raining. It is very wet. I'm off to the gym. Was not able to sleep great last night. Brad had some kind of insane coughing fit. And this morning he was just stinking up the room. So I was like, bye, I'm going. Good morning guys. It is 4.50 in the morning and I have the whole gymnasium to myself. Freaking awesome, let's go. Okay, but it, it's very odd to finish a workout and then come outside and it's still dark. I never work out this early. Maybe I'll get back to sleep and then Jack will wake me up. I don't know. We shall see. It's 5.45 now, so. <laughs> All right. Wow, good morning. Gorgeous. Cute. What'd you find? Daddy's hat. Hmm. Okay, but look what we found. That is a frog the size of my fingernail. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so tiny. Okay, let's grab you. Go. Be free. Go. <laughs> hey, Jack. How much does mama love you? <gasps> that much! <laughs> Let's talk traveling with toddlers. There's kind of, I find there's two camps of people, so you're either a go with the flow, it'll be fine, figure it out along the way, or the, I kind of need to have a plan and some kind of general understanding of the logistics of how things are gonna work with a toddler whilst traveling. For us, our day looks like wake up, when Jack wakes us up, play with toys, watch the sunrise, go in the pool, go to the buffet breakfast, have a breakfast, and then go down to the beach first thing in the morning. The sun's up, it's shining on us, so we get a bit of sun time. He sits behind the deck chairs and plays in the shade, staying cool, loves the showers. Those are his favorite thing, the rinse off showers for like sandy feet. Can't get enough of them. That normally lasts about an hour until tantrums start to hit. And then we come back up, maybe a little bit full time just because it's right by our room and he sees it and he wants to play. Then we get a snack from whatever's open, the buffet or the cafe or something like that, like a little croissant, something, drinks lots of water, watches YouTube show. Then we do more pool time until nap time. More food at the buffet if he wants lunch, but he had a pretty good snack today. So we're gonna go straight to nap time after this. And then whilst he naps, Brad and I get to go and have lunch, buffet together, alone time. And then after we've had our adult lunch, Brad generally likes to come back and take a nap whilst Jack naps, or I can go off to the shops and do a solo shopping trip, that kind of thing. Jack wakes up from his nap and we will do either beach or pool or little outing into town or whatever we want before dinner time and bed. And that's it, that's how our day works. So it looks exactly the same as what it does on the farm in terms of the nap is non-negotiable. The day revolves around the nap time, a morning activity and an afternoon activity. Except this time when he's napping, I don't have to be cooking dinner or cleaning or doing laundry. I can actually sit in the sun and relax. So it's definitely a vacation, even though you're only the two. Jack is still a little young for the other toddler stuff. Like he can't go on the slides or anything like that. Maybe your two year old is more rambunctious than mine, but he is, um, He's a bit more timid and careful, so he likes just paddling in the water and playing with his bucket. But that's enough. Still a vacation, still a great time, even though it's with a toddler, it's totally possible. Did you dress in matching on purpose? Aww. I got to go on a solo shopping trip today for my birthday. Now we are off to the same restaurants last night. What's it called? Kabiku? Kariku? Something like that. The Asian fusion type restaurant. 
has Japanese, it has Thai, it has all the things. So. What's the thing where they chop it up and there's a big fire? Tapanyaki. Happy Thursday and beginning of NFL season apparently. He's just told me we are the only people at this pool. It's completely empty. I mean it's 8 o'clock in the morning but there are a ton of kids here and I can't figure out what they do with their kids because I know they're all awake. The kids aren't sleeping in and ours is just... They have to be watching TV, right? Yeah. We think they're in their rooms watching TV. Well, there's kids there. They have their... Sea scallop salad. I'm so excited about that. Beans, chicken fajitas, mashed potato, some kind of smoked loin, cheese, and papaya. And for my sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. Look at you two bougie boys. Yeah. Oh, we got a oh, we got a bucket in in the champagne bucket. Huh? <laughs> Okay, tonight we have reservations at the steak restaurant, which I'm most excited about. It's my type of menu, lots of just straight protein and veg. Cannot wait. This is my outfit because tomorrow is my birthday. I turn 34, so this is my last night as a 33 year old. Grandma pants, because <laughs> comfort is key. We're at an all inclusive. <laughs> Come on, cute boys. Here we are at steak dinner. This is excellent. They have another outdoor section similar to the Italian place. So Jack is just running around. And it's completely enclosed. We don't have to worry. He's good. We can actually sit back and enjoy ourselves. That's nice. Well done. We got some rain. I don't know if I could be any luckier, but it is my last morning and I have the whole gym to myself. Let's go. I just got done with my birthday workout and I came outside to this. Let me show you. The view from our front porch right now. Uh, what? Uh, Mum's favorite movie. I will take that. <laughs> you can't pick them up. They're stuck. Good morning everyone we are back on the farm we got home last night took care of all the animals unpacked everything chucked on some wash loads and we are fully reset ready for farm life except we have zero groceries in the house so that is plan number one today but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this family vacay jack's first international trip with a toddler it was great um yeah and we'll see you in the next video bye